What have we got? It's quite clever, actually. This fuel container has been removed from the torpedo and retrofitted to hide this cryotube. Is he alive? He's alive. But if we try to revive him without the proper sequencing, could kill him. This technology is beyond me. How advanced, Doctor? It's not advanced. That cryotube is ancient. We haven't needed to freeze anyone since we developed warp capability, which explains the most interesting thing about our friend here. He's 300 years old. Why is there a man in that torpedo? There are men and women in all those torpedoes, Captain. I put them there. Who the hell are you? A remnant of a time long past. Genetically engineered to be superior so as to lead others to peace in a world at war. We were condemned as criminals, forced into exile. For centuries we slept, hoping when we awoke things would be different. But as a result of the destruction of Vulcan, your Starfleet began to aggressively search distant quadrants of space. My ship was found adrift. I alone was revived. I looked up John Harrison. Until a year ago, he didn't exist. John Harrison was a fiction created the moment I was awoken by your Admiral Marcus to help him advance his cause. A smokescreen to conceal my true identity. My name is Khan. Why would a Starfleet Admiral ask a 300-year-old frozen man for help? Because I am... Better. At what? Everything. Alexander Marcus needed to respond to an uncivilized threat in a civilized time. After that, he needed a warrior's mind. My mind. To design weapons and warships. You are suggesting the Admiral violated every regulation he vowed to uphold simply because he wanted to exploit your intellect. He wanted to exploit my savagery. Intellect alone is useless in a fight, Mr. Spock. You, you can't even break a rule. How would you be expected to break bone? Marcus used me to design weapons to help him realize his vision of a militarized Starfleet. He sent you to use those weapons to fire my torpedoes on an unsuspecting planet. And then he purposely crippled your ship in enemy space, leading to one inevitable outcome. The Klingons would come searching for whomever was responsible and you would have no chance of escape. Marcus would finally have the war he talked about, the war he always wanted. No. No. I watched you open fire in a room full of unarmed Starfleet officers. You killed them in cold blood. Marcus took my crew from me. You are a murderer! He used my friends to control me. I tried to smuggle them to safety by concealing them in the very weapons I had designed. But I was discovered. I had no choice but to escape alone. And when I did, I had every reason to suspect that Marcus had killed every single one of the people I hold most dear. So I responded in kind. My crew is my family, Kirk. Is there anything you would not do for your family? 